All right, next definition for your writer's notebook page. Make a brand new one. They're called prepositions. These are words that relate the noun, um, or could be a pronoun, which you'll find out in the next lesson, before it to another word in the sentence. Uh, so for the chicken grammar example, you see hearts is the loudest chicken in the coop, and in is the preposition, and it is relating the noun before it, chicken, to another word in the sentence. Well, which other word is it? It's talking about he is in the coop. So the preposition in is relating chicken to coop. It's telling us where he is. Well, it's a she, never mind. Um, and then the second sentence is an example of how sometimes prepositions can be more than one word. So maybe that definition you should say word or words. But anyway, it's more common for it to be just one word. In this sentence, put the chicken feed in front of the watering can. The chicken feed is the noun that's being related to the watering can. Where, what's the relation? It's in front of the watering can, okay? And there's a nice snazzy picture of the completed chicken coop. Here's a list of some of the more common prepositions for you to add into your uh, writer's notebook notes. And one of the rules you need to know when you're dealing with prepositions in formal English is we don't end sentences with them. So we don't say, what are you doing that for? Um, what we would have to do is say, and it sounds kind of pompous when people say it, but it's proper English, they would have to say, for what reason are you doing that? Um, and that's one of the big mistakes you'll see in a lot of people's writing and speech. So go ahead and pause this and get all these down. And here's a list of some of the more common two or more word prepositions and a picture of the coop and the run in two of my kids. Um, that was before the coop was painted. And the practice for prepositions is on page 298 in the textbook. They want you to copy the sentence, underline the preposition. In this case, it is for. And you're going to draw an arrow between the two words that the preposition relates. So who, what's going on? What are the two nouns? Well, it's George and boys, primarily. George is running errands for the boys. Okay, that's why my arrow is going from George to the boys. Don't forget, even if I haven't reminded you in the past, add a sentence of your own.